Hey guys, this is Gary J. This is a Palm MTA Maximum Time Aloft Boomerang. This is a phenolic paper uh, material, which is very fragile. And this is a tri-wing, you might call it MTA, Maximum Time Aloft, which means it's made to be thrown straight up, vertical, just like uh, launching a rocket ship. Go straight up, throw it that direction, 12 o'clock high, and when you throw it, you don't want any one o'clock layover or two o'clock layover. You want to throw it vertical, straight up. The way it's tuned, it will automatically reach the uh, maximum height altitude and then start to turn. And as it turns, it will start to spin around and around and hover back and forth in a circle. And it'll float down to the ground. The best throw is if it goes if you throw it completely straight up and no layover, throw it vertical, hold it vertical when you throw it, and it turns, it'll come straight down. But if the wind's blowing back and forth, then it's going to go back and forth. But if you got a real good day for doing that, and it still goes back and forth like this, coming back down, then you probably need to check the tuning. These are probably the most difficult of all to tune, uh, these three blades. But uh, that's kind of the, the fun of playing with these more advanced boomerangs. But this is a great MTA here. Mark Legg made this one. And uh, I've got some of his other boomerangs. And he always does a great job. And so this is super light. Kind of like a feather floating and spinning around as it falls. That's what these do. And so you try to throw it up in the air and see how long it takes to float down as it hovers spinning around and around and around and uh, you can see from the videos how it spins around some people can get it to last 20 seconds some uh, maybe a minute and uh, some MTAs have been known to hover maybe um, two minutes the uh, L shape rings that look, look like the letter L have been known to hover for 15 minutes and travel several miles and uh, but these right here are pretty unique and this is really a nice paint job I like the way he, he did this one but they're not that big um, I have a average size hand so it's you can tell it's not that big of a boomerang really but these are really neat to play with so you're gonna throw it vertical uh, no layover not like one o'clock you're gonna have 12 o'clock you might get about 12 30 on these throw them about if the wind's blowing this direction throw them about 45 degrees to the right of the wind and you'll have to kind of adjust that depending on how hard the wind's blowing the best wind uh, for these is probably less than three miles per hour in my opinion and uh, otherwise the wind can really blow them a long distance away. Generally you want to throw in an area where you got like 150 yards in front of you and around you, behind you and to the right and left. Because they can be caught up by thermal wind. When you throw them up vertical and they start to uh, spin around and around as they float down they can hit a thermal wind which is hot wind coming off the ground and pushing up and these can instead of coming down they can go back up and hover and then come back down and then go back up and hover and so they can get caught in the thermal wind and just travel on and on like way behind those trees over there so these things are really unique to watch when you play with MTA so I'm just trying to whet your appetite a little bit for these I haven't really seen any videos on the MTA I'm sure someone can do a lot better job than I am but uh, these are a lot of fun right here to play with well guys I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, get to see how these things work and these are not uh, simple MTAs to tune and uh, they're not very simple MTAs to make either I don't think the way they're cut and designed but uh, this is real fragile it'll break real easy if it hits the pavement or hits a tree uh, that's the paper phenolic so uh, you might want to go with a carbon fiber or something like that but uh, this one runs about uh, $29 so this is more for your advanced throwers too. Okay guys, good luck and I hope your boomerangs come back to you. 
Take care. Gary J. Hey guys. One, two, three. Oh. There she spins. I'm walking back. Oh, she does. Not much wind. Going back, even though she looked like she's gonna land in front of me. Oh, got her. The wind is blowing sometimes one mile per hour to, to three and four, kind of comes in gusts. All right, let's try one, two, three. I think that was a good throw. She disappeared, then she came back. I'm standing where I'm at. Got it. One, two, three. Oh. The wind caught that one a little bit. Taking any chance, I don't know. Oh, God. One, two, three. Ah! Oh. I'm going back. See, she turns. She turns, she turns. It's always nice when they come back to your hand. Alright, one, two, find the wind. One, two, three. Oh. That was pretty good vertical. I'm going back. I don't trust her. Blinding me. The sun is still blinding me. Oh, no, just behind me. Three. Oh, that was a good vertical throw there. I'm walking backwards. I know how she is. I'm walking forward. I think she's coming right to me. Oh, got her. Good catch. 